Hey yo, what it do YouTube, it's your boy Wiz back again with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be finally unboxing my ATEM Mini Pro hair. And I say finally because I purchased this thing literally almost 30 days ago. And as you can see, it is still in the wrapping paper. I'm going to be unboxing this a10 mini and I'm actually going to be hooking it up to not one, not two, not three, but four cameras. I have an overhead camera right here. I got four cameras that I'm going to be hooking this thing up to. There are four HDMI inputs on this thing. So um, the reason I bought this A10 mini is because I'm going to be live streaming a wedding where I'm probably only going to be using two cameras. Um, at that wedding, but I'm gonna be live streaming a wedding uh, about a month and a half from now. So I wanna kinda get familiar with this thing and just kinda, you know, use it, see how I like it. So like I said in this video, I'm going to finally unbox it. I'm going to hook it up to all of my cameras and show you how that looks. Let's go. All right, so let's finally start off by getting this thing unboxed. It's been a long time coming. Here we go. Rip me out the plastic. All right, got a little black magic welcome. Wish this came with DaVinci Resolve because I really, really want to get into that, but um, it does not. Mm, got a couple manuals here. We have a power charger with a couple of different imports. Um, I'll probably never use some of these, but this looks like the one I need right here for the US. And here we have our A10 Mini right here. And this thing looks pretty good. It feels pretty good. Uh, let me move this box out the way. So like I said, this thing looks pretty good. It feels pretty good. We've got our different camera switches right here. Cut button, looks like some effects. Picture in picture, um, things that control our microphones. And like I said, on the back here, we have our HDMI uh, inputs and one output. So the four cameras will go into these inputs here and I can output it to a monitor, which I might actually try to output it to the monitor, uh, my camera monitor, see how that looks. Um, have a USB out, that's a USB-C. Um, ATEM control, I believe that is how you stream directly to say YouTube or Facebook. We have the power source, of course, and it has two microphone uh, inputs, 3.5 millimeter inputs for audio. So I'm going to now hook up my four cameras just to kind of see what I can expect out of this thing, play with it a little bit, and then I'll let you know what it looks like. So as you can see, I have all four of my cameras hooked up to the A10 Mini. I also have my monitor hooked up, as well as my SSD, which I'm recording directly to. So hopefully, um, I won't have to clip this up. I'm currently on camera three, which is my overhead camera. Let me show you my main uh, shot. This is my main shot. This is my FX3. When I go to my second camera, that is the camera right over here to my left. This is my A7 IV. Um, my third camera is my overhead camera right there. And my fourth camera is my FX30, which is right there. So I'm really loving this. Um, definitely just testing it out. I wanna see how it's gonna work and integrate with Zoom. Now, the only thing that I know which is gonna be an issue, um, which I know there is a workaround, is the fact that I have HDMI cables um i know there are like wireless options so i'm gonna have to kind of like explore that over the next 30 days to see if that's something that i'm necessarily going to need um like i told you i'm not going to be using all four of these cameras um but um and i don't even know what the venue even looks like on the inside it's ceremony only so i don't really have to worry about like you know recording like the reception of the wedding and things like that however um if like the ceremony space is like really wide and really big, I'm definitely not gonna be able to just have like one table and have the cameras just like, you know, um, of course I'm gonna have two focal lengths, so maybe like a wide shot to always detail, uh, you know, default to say like, this is my wide shot. And if I wanna get like a tight shot on a couple, boom, I'm here, you know what I'm saying? So I don't really know um, what the venue looks like. I don't even know where the venue is, to be honest. I need to find all that out. Um, but yeah, over the next 30 plus days, I'm going to really enjoy just experiment and really seeing what I can get out of it. But first impressions of the A10 Mini, like I said, this is my hookup, my setup again. I'm really liking it. Um, it's definitely cable heavy right now. Going to explore those wireless options. But the fact that I can record directly to 
my SSD um, because I am going to be giving the couple a uh, the video edit of uh, you know the ceremony that I live stream. So if my cuts are perfect and I'm able to record it directly to my SSD right here. I won't even have to do anything now. Another thing that you may notice is, um, and I'm not sure how it's showing up on your end, my main shot is in um, all my cameras except the S-Log3, which is a flat picture profile if you don't know. And for some reason, I see that on my monitor at least, um, my main camera here is recording in log and it looks like, you know, how I would expect it to look because I have the Gamma Assist on. Now these three cameras here, are like in the super duper flat uh, picture profile, which I have my uh, Gamma Assist turned on. Not sure why it, it doesn't show up. And I think when you record in log, it does not um, uh, stream or it doesn't go over like the stream. So that's another thing that I'm gonna have to figure out um, in using this thing. But yeah, man, this is the A10 Mini hooked up, four cameras. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you are experienced using this thing, please give your boy some tips, um, you know, what to expect, what to keep in mind when using it, anything that, you know, as it relates to a wedding that I maybe can and cannot do using this thing, I would greatly appreciate it. And yeah, man, if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me. I would really appreciate it. And subscribe to my channel, man, for more filmmaking tips, tutorials, gear reviews, gear showcases, things like this all the time. Until my next video, I will catch you guys later. Peace out.